Hello friends. Oh my goodness. I'm like sweating. I had to carry, we have a flight of stairs. When you like first enter our house, we have a flight of stairs. So I have to carry all the groceries up the stairs. And then we hadn't been home for a while. So I had to take the dogs out and it was just, it was just a whole thing. Um, so I feel very gross and sweaty. Um, welcome to another Trader Joe's haul, my weekly haul. This haul is, it's, like 90% Trader Joe's, 10% Tarte stuff. I had to, stuff I needed to get at Target. Slow down, Ashley. Um, I really wanted to like say a disclaimer at this, the beginning of this video because I just feel like my upload schedule is not a schedule. Um, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Essentially, I'm just uploading and filming when I feel like it. That's, that's the uh, route I'm taking right now. My goal, of course, is to get back on like a regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload schedule, but that's just not happening right now, and I'm, I'm okay with that. So, I'm just filming and uploading as I please. Let's get on to the haul. So, this haul is a hot mess. I, that's, that's how I feel. In my brain, this haul is just like, is so jumbly and all over the place. I'm not even gonna show you my list, like that's how bad it is. Um, it's a holiday weekend. We've been busy. Um, Cernan has off work tomorrow and I kind of waited to the last minute to do my grocery list. I usually kind of plan it throughout the week so then I don't have to, you know, sit down usually Friday or Saturday night and crank out a whole list. Um, because I do like look up recipes and think about we what we're eating that week and if I want to repeat anything the next week and I just feel like it's very time consuming. So I did not do that this past week. So last night I sat down and tried to make my entire list and I wanted to blow my brains out. I couldn't think of what I wanted to eat. No, no recipes I was seeing online were inspiring me. Um, so I'm just gonna preface it with that. Again, I'm not gonna show you guys the list. It wasn't even fully done, which really, um, like, was not smart. I, I, can, I cannot operate like that. Like, I'm not one of those people that can just, oh, I need to go to the store and just like go in and like buy shit. Like, I have to have a list and I have to have my meals planned and my lunches planned and everything like that. And so, luckily, I did okay. I usually what happens when I don't go in with my full list complete is I just start throwing shit in my cart. That did not happen. We're we're good. We stayed within budget. Um. But anyway, just so that you guys know, there's a lot of the usual suspects here. There's some new things. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, let's start with the dairy. We have yogurt for Daisy. I picked up the mango and cream and peaches and cream this time. She really has no preference. Um, so I kind of just try to rotate it and buy different flavors. Two things of eggs. We're going through eggs like crazy. Um, I've been doing hard boiled eggs and we also have eggs in the morning for breakfast. So I bought two of those. Um, then we have some blue cheese. I'm doing a Cobb salad for dinner um, a night this week, so I wanted to pick this up. This is my favorite, favorite blue cheese I've ever had, ever. It's the best. I picked up some milk. I, I wish they would have had organic milk in this smaller container, but they didn't. They only had organic in the, the bigger one, and this is not for Daisy to drink. It's just to put in smoothies. So I really didn't want to buy a huge thing of milk because we're not going to go through it quick enough. So some whole milk for smoothies. I think that's all the dairy. Oh, I know this isn't dairy, um, but I didn't know where to put it. And so I kind of thought like, it's like a dip or a dressing. So I'll put it with the blue cheese. This is hummus for lunches. Um, for lunches this week, I'm doing the turkey meatloaf, which you'll see shortly, and then broccoli and hummus. So that's for that. Then we have our beverages. Um, from Target, I got the Starbucks iced coffee. I'm going like back and forth between the Trader Joe's cold brew and um, and this, and this week I want the Starbucks one, so I picked that up. I forgot to get the water for Daisy, the Trader Joe's brand of sparkling water, um, so I had to pick up some at Target, and they didn't have any unflavored, which was kind of a bummer. But these were only 99 cents. They're like the tall, the tall big ones, so I got a lime and a lemon. And then in terms of wine, just some, some good old favorites. The La Femme Julien. I know I'm saying that correctly. Um, Rosé and then the Frégenet, my favorite Frégenet Brut. All right, on to the produce, which is just in a large pile. We have some chives. We have bananas. These are for smoothies. So we have bananas, peaches, nectarines, 
um, avocado I put in her smoothies as well, and then spinach. All of that is for Daisy's smoothies. Sometimes she'll eat peaches and nectarines like on their own, but um, I'm really finding that she loves smoothies and it's such a good way, especially to get in like the protein with the avocado and then I cram a ton of spinach in there. It's been awesome. Again, like I said, broccoli for lunches. Um, I am doing a Cobb salad, so I picked up two of the butter lettuces. Um, a thing, a thing, an ear of corn for the Cobb salad. What is under here? Oh, I love these. Um, the hair cover, um, green beans. I love these. I roast them um, in the oven with red onion. So, so good. That's gonna go with one of our um, meals this week. Then we got the meat. Like I said, the turkey meatloaf. I, this is just my like, I don't feel like meal prepping lunches, so I'm gonna buy this. Um, this is easier. That's what this is. Um, so I do not like the tomato sauce that's on top, so I just scrape it off. And then if Cernan and I want like ketchup or something, we can use that. But this is just easy peasy, good to go, and it's it's very keto friendly. Um, which again, we're not like crazy into keto right now, but um, it's low carb, which is good. My fave bacon, and then I got these to try. Um, for a night this week. Again, I didn't finish my list, so my grocery list, so I was definitely looking in like the freezer section and the pre-marinated meat section because um, I didn't have anything planned. I per twice now in the past maybe month, I purchased the shawarma chicken, which was so good. So I thought this time I would try the pesto um, chicken breast. I'm gonna whip this up in my Instant Pot and see how it goes. I did the shawarma chicken in my Instant Pot for 15 minutes and they were chicken thighs and they turned out fabulous. So this is chicken breast, but I'm I'm still gonna give it a whirl and see how it goes. All right, let's get that bag out of there. Frozen stuff, we have Daisy's pancakes. She's back on the pancake bandwagon. So um, she usually has like four to six pancakes with her yogurt in the morning. Um, I got this for Cernan. I'm going out to dinner this week with a girlfriend. So I always make sure when that happens that there's something in there for him to eat. So this will be his meal on Tuesday. Um, another favorite, the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. We love these. We usually eat these when we have breakfast for dinner, which is at least once a week, because we're just those kind of people. And um, I do like bacon, eggs, and then the potatoes. They're already pre-seasoned, and guys, if you haven't tried these, they're so good. Daisy likes them too, which is a plus. Like I said, I rated the um, pre-marinated meat section and the freezer section to fill those like empty meal slots I had for the week. And this is another thing that we will be eating this week. Really not the healthiest thing. We love it, but we haven't eaten it in a while because it's just not healthy for you. But um, I was in a pinch and I just needed something like quick and that didn't require a lot of um, thinking, <laughs> to be honest. So... All right, and then we have some aisle items. Um, puffs for Daisy, peanut puffs for Daisy. Um, Y'all know we love these cheese bites. I feel like this is all the usual suspects. Um, the olives for snacks. Oh God, I love those so much. Um, Target, I got Daisy some more raisins, which she's really been into lately. And then this, it's technically not in an aisle. It's in like the refrigerated um, section at Target. But Daisy loves these pouches, and I just bought her um, like a whole box of the go-go squeeze. Oh, well, let me show you. Let me show you what I just bought. These, you know, the go-go squeeze, um, apple sauces. Cause she likes to have them after her breakfast in the morning. Like she has her yogurt and pancakes and then she gets out of her high chair and has an applesauce while she like finishes her show. Um, so I didn't want to buy a ton, but I just love these. I love that they're cold pressed. There's no added sugar or junk or anything. Because they're cold pressed, you're still getting all the nutrients from the fruits and vegetables, and I just, I love them. They were on sale um, for a buck 50 each, and then if you have the Cartwheel app, they were another 25% off, which is not that bad considering when they're not on sale, they're 250 a pouch, which is insane. Um, and then the last couple things, bread for Miss Daisy. She's really been into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and also what we're calling cheese bread, which is um, grilled cheese, essentially. I do cheese and then turkey. I grill it and I cut it into like sticks and she loves it. So I picked up more bread and then just a little treat. I see this every time I go to Trader Joe's. I see this at the checkout. 
I never buy it, but I always think of Cernan because it's essentially like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal in a chocolate bar, and that's his favorite cereal. Like, it's his guilty pleasure cereal. I don't even know the last time he ate it, but he loves it. So I picked that up just as like a little treat for us to have this week. So that is my haul for the week. I feel like I talked really fast through that entire thing. Um, I spent 101 at Trader Joe's and I spent 16 at Target. So 117 for the week, which is pretty good considering I was like winging half of it. Like I was winging a lot of it. So um, I'm happy with that number. And um, we yesterday we had to pick up um, soda for Cernan and then LaCroix for me. So that was probably another like seven bucks. So I probably spent 124 if we're in including that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys like these kinds of videos, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. I think I gained in the past week, I think I've gained, I gained four subscribers, which I am extremely proud of and very, very happy about. So, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm really pumped that like, even though I'm taking this weird break where I'm not being like super consistent that like people are still subscribing. It makes me happy. So subscribe if you're not subscribed and then hit the notification bell so that you're made aware every time I post a video. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday. I will have a video up on Wednesday. It's going to be an August favorites video. So, um, be sure to be on the lookout for that. Bye my friends.